All right, hello friends. Uh, we're back again with my friend Alyssa and we are doing a recording of Daisy the Cow. This is a terrific round, especially I would probably do um, year four and up. It's a little bit tricky with its entry points and its style and its lyrics. Um, it's fairly simple melodically, but it can kind of trip you up. Um, would you like to learn Daisy the Cow, Alyssa? I would. Yay, hooray, all right. Um, I, this is in a minor key, so I would normally start with uh, just reminding them what that sounds like because it will turn itself major if you're not careful. So I would start with la, la, do, mi, or whatever what you want to do, or you could play on the piano to get them situated. I have a cow, her name is Daisy. I have a cow, her name is Daisy. She gives me milk every day. She gives me milk every day. One liter, two liters, three liters, four liters. One liter, two liters, three liters, four liters. I pour the milk in my cup of tea. I love her and she loves me. I pour the milk in my cup of tea. She loves her. <laughs> I love her and she loves me. A moo moo moo. A moo moo moo. A moo moo moo. A moo moo moo. So we were talking about how um, you can change up the rhythm of the quick. So you had a nice. I wanted to syncopate. So. Yeah. A moo moo moo. Um, or you can just leave them out. Um, the other thing that I do sometimes add is some body percussion in between those one liter, two liter, because it can help with the entries a little bit because you don't want them to enter early in those little gaps. Um, but sometimes that's too much to think about. So sometimes counting with the fingers helps. Um, this is the body percussion version. So one liter, two liters, three liters, four liters. I. It's a bit tricky because then after, probably after four liters I wouldn't wouldn't. Take so, away. Four, four liters. I pour the milk in my cup of tea. I love her and she loves me. Etc. So, and we were experimenting it as well with the entry point. So, you'll find if you do a quick entry point, what happens is that you're seeing kind of the same pattern with different lyrics as you'll see in, in a minute. That can be. So helpful. It can be helpful because you're hearing the same melodic pattern if you're only doing it in two parts. Um, and especially if you want to build up to lots of parts, and this is a good song to do in like eight parts or eight entry points, um, it's good to have those fairly quick entries. Um, but if you want to hear the melodic difference and challenge them a bit to hear those different kind of counterpoints, I suppose, you can stagger the entry slightly further apart. So we'll do... Uh, I have a cow, her name is Daisy, and then you're gonna come in. Mm -hmm. um, but you could also wait until after every day, and that would get that melodic change. You'll see what I mean about how we're gonna sing the same lyrics. At the, oh, sorry, same, different, melody. same melody, different lyrics. Okay. Mm, I have a cow, her name is Daisy. I have me a cow, milk her name every is day. She One gives liter, me two day. liters, three One liters. liters. Four liters, I throw the milk liters, in my cup of four tea. Liters, I love her and she loves me. A moo, I moo, love moo. her and she loves me. A moo moo moo. A moo moo moo. Yeah. <laughs> and we were talking about how um, you really can encourage some moo solos. So it could um, be a call and response. <laughs> so. Moo 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 moo. And let's do a question and answer. So rather than call and response where you're copying me, yep. I'm going to do one and then you're going to do something different. Yeah. And this is really good to get them thinking on their own. So. I'm sure you'll find that all your classes can concentrate all the way through this in a very serious and, and focused. Um, do we need to tell them anything else? Not that I can remember. I can't remember anything else either. No. All right, I hope that's helpful. <laughs> Is it though? All right. <laughs> Bye.